There we go, one all plucked. Last time I spent 30 days surviving in the Canadian Rockies, but now... Effective this Thursday morning, I am ordering all Maine people to stay at home. So this is the 30-Day Survival Challenge Maine Lockdown. That'll cook up good. Hunting fever. We got a keeper. Three, we got three. <clears throat> out here at the farm. I should be whispering. I don't want to scare away my game. I got a text this morning. She said pigeons are here. It's confirmed. Let's get them. All right. Got two on the roof. Oh, it's wet and cold right here, but I don't want to take time to get the blanket. Perfect shot right at 40 yards. Let's see if I can get the elevation. Come on. No, 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 no. Where is he? No, 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 no. Where is he? There he is. Right there. There's one. There's one, and there he comes down the roof. Boom. This is what the Tacticam footage should look like. I didn't have it adjusted right for the last two hunts. If you remember on day 16, I brought this up before. So it is not Tacticam's fault that the uh, footage looks so bad in today's pigeon hunt. Uh, and the right on scope is crystal clear. But now that I've got it figured out, it looks like this when you're using it on a regular basis. Once you actually read the instructions that come with it and make the initial adjustments, it pairs really well with this right on scope. So I apologize for this scope cam footage not being as epic as it possibly could be in this time, but we got to figure it out now. And if you're just tuning into the series, make sure you hit that link in the description below and start this series from the beginning. This is episode 18. You're way into it. You're missing out a lot. Oh, I was getting up to move. Came back already. Maybe I should just hold still. Oh, it's already cocked. Getting, getting. Hunting fever. Tried to double cock. What you do not want to do with this gun, it'll load a double pellet and then it won't be accurate at all. <clears throat> oh, alright, so it's a little higher up, for a little further up. Come on, give it stable. Unlike a digital scope that allows you to record, you have to look at like a little TV screen inside the scope with those digital ones. Whereas this Tacticam is using this little bracket that goes over the end of the, the scope with mirrors. So I'm looking straight through the scope and the mirrors are projecting that image for the recorder to record the image. So I get that crystal clear image of sighting straight through the right on scope. Whereas you don't because I recorded it poorly. There goes the second one off the other side of the building. All right, I should go get those now. Safety on. 
<laughs> Gotta get over there. I don't want the cat to get my foods this time. Oh, there's another one. This is the third one here. Looks to be about 30 yards. Oh, safety off. Ooh. Woo, look at that, that's a fat little guy. Beautiful, right in the head. That's what I was aiming for. Let's see if we got the others. Safety zone. Second one, I get a better angle on. Oh. Nothing to brace on. It's such a high angle from here. There's another one down. On the roof? Okay. Uh, I can't shoot him on that ledge without hitting the barn. I don't want to go poking tiny holes in the... Will your, will your mom care? Huh? Will your mom care? No. Alright, then they're going down. <clears throat> the other one didn't even move. <clears throat> no, it's still sitting up there. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, that's a tight shot. I better zoom in. Oh, he's right behind a piece of metal. So I have to shoot him in the head. There's two there. Maybe I can get two with one shot if he ducks his head down. Either have him or him. Missed. Total miss. Safety on, go get my birds. <clears throat> Two. Three. And four. Woo! Oh, all right, four birds, and the day is still early. What a awesome! The girls, oh, they're in for a treat. I wonder, th what do you think they're gonna think of this? What are my girls gonna think of pigeon for dinner? That's the long shot right there. All the way up to the far side of the barn. Let's see, where can I get him from? 
Oh, he's flapping a little bit. He's getting leery. Somebody's on. Oh, somebody's onto my game. He moved. It's like too many of my friends disappearing too quickly. I'm going to need a bigger bag, haversack here. Now oh, they all fit. Keep the cats away from my catches in my haversack. Don't want to lose any of those today. All right, not bad. Four of them. I'm going to take a peek in the woods for that one that I definitely hit and looked like it was fluttering down and around the barn to go into the bushes. See if I can't get my hands on that. I don't want to waste anything. Jeepers, it could be anywhere. Might just be careful, but it could have just fluttered down and into the, tucked into the bushes. Tucked into any of this, I'd never see him. Where would you hide if you were a wounded pigeon? Gray branches, gray trees, no leaves. There's no. Unless he was laying out here, like flopped over somewhere. That ain't happening. All right. I think with that last shot, I may have scared him off for good. I still have a little bit of time before I get the girls. I think I'm gonna hit the stream before I pick them up. Gotta go get the girls. Got the smoker going. We're gonna try and smoke our pigeons for a little bit. Kids are out playing. Just enjoying a quiet Sunday with the family. What a beautiful day. They're not baby onions, they're chives. We got chives for you. <laughs> Imagine if I opened this up and one flew off. Wouldn't that be something weird? Dad, I got, I got chives for you, chives. You do? Yep. Ah, those aren't chives, those are garlic. Oh, that's fresh. There's garlic growing in there. That's crazy. Go eat? replant them. Okay. Go replant them. Dad, why can't we have it on our pigeon? What? Cause they're not ready yet. They're just, they're just the clove has just started to grow. Well, by the way, the trench, all this side, nice and dry. Whoa. That side still soaking wet. So I don't have the proper foot tire to go over there to see what they're up to, but. I gotta risk it. It's not better at all. It's like a swamp over here. Look at that. Where'd you find them? We found them over here. We got them like in and they were growing and sticking out? We, got make yeah. a, a we didn't know it. We thought they were onions. So those little hills are chives. Mom had these before and she put holes and she put them in a honey jar. Trying to decide how to do these up the real easy way and just get the meat out of them the two breasts or do it the uh, plucking plucking and all kinds of mess well, plucking actually goes kind of easy it tastes so much better if they got the skin on it's just oh it's so good I think I'm gonna do that but maybe I won't do that right here 
in my yard. Maybe in the corner of the yard. Who wants to help pluck feathers? Where's the head, Dad? Right here. I want to see the skinny body. The skinny body? Where's the eye? Ah! <laughs> the skinny body! Dad, where did you shoot it? That one right in the head. Yuck! Ooh. Ooh. Go ahead and that just grab them and just pull out the feathers. Okay. Ew. Oh, go ahead. It was Body. gross. It looks yucky. They're soft though. Oh, I want to see the wings. I like the wings. Is that right here? These short, small, small feathers. It's, big clumps. It smells. I'm touching the feet. I don't smell anything. I'm gonna get feathers. You're getting get... feathers? You're supposed to be plucking feathers. Grab yourself a bird sparrow and start plucking. Oh, what is that? I can see one. Is that the skin? Go ahead. Uh, Go ahead and pluck ooh, all the feathers the out. Oh, I see the skin! Yeah, that's what we're supposed to be doing. Get down to the skin. I see. And I felt the skin. It feels weird. I, I saw one was like this. Uh, we have the head in this plant, baby. <laughs> right there. <laughs> you the shot the nail. eyes! The nail is touching the wing. <laughs> you shot the eye, Dad. Mm-hmm. Can you pluck the bottom? I pluck. Ooh, pretty wings. Yeah, I'm gonna These see pluck the butt. really, really well, so I'm really I'm happy about that. I want a collection of feathers. Is that the butt, Dad? No, that's the top of his butt. Like like his bottom. Look so happy, what? I see the butt. <laughs> that's <laughs> That's gross! You dorks. <laughs> pluck your pigeon! Here we go, one all plucked. Just like tiny little chickens. It's just a little fistful of bird. If you see a Doesn't little hole, that much. then that that it smells weird. If you see... Throw. Touch it. I'm flying! Jesus, don't kill me! What was that? Jesus, don't kill me? Yes. The bird said it. Oh, gee. <laughs> got all four of our little birds all stripped down, defeathered. A couple pin feathers here I gotta get at, but I'm actually gonna use my fillet knife because I'm gonna go in around the cloaca and then up the breast and I'm gonna cut the birds in half with this guy so I can put them on the grill to smoke and then fire up the grill and grill the rest of grill them the rest of the way. And this should work pretty good because I have this new knife that's like whew, some Japanese samurai thing for Oh yeah. And when you're done with that, you're left with nothing but the meat, just like a chicken from the store. Except for this chicken's been split so I could put it on the grill and press it and grill it just like that. All right, all in all, I'm pretty happy with that. The kids sound pretty happy with their fort. We didn't really work on it today, we're kind of lazy. But the pigeons, I think, are gonna be pretty good. There was only one of them that I shot through the breast. The rest of them I shot in the head. But that one that I shot in the breast, it went right through the middle, close enough to the middle that it didn't really damage much of the meat, so. Four solid pigeons with solid bits of meat on it, and none of it had to be thrown away. That one did take a little more rinsing out because of the, some of the blood inside the body cavity. But uh, clean, delicious meat I harvested myself. Nothing like a catch and cook to make you feel like a, like a real man, make you feel successful, strong. It's a good thing. Not just getting outdoors, but get outdoors and catch something and then cook it for yourself. Now they're on to smoke for an hour. And then I'll fire up the grill part of this and sear, cook them the rest of the way through, or cook them at all because this is cold smoking. I'm just adding flavor. They're gonna be so good.
chicken. Yeah, right? I let's see. let's say grace, and then we'll try them. I'm trying to get something out, weren't you? What do you What do you want to say? I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. Dear Jesus, thank you for this food. Bless this food to our bodies. Mm. In Jesus' name, amen. All right. Now we can eat. Now we can eat. Mm. We've got some green beans. I'm hungry. Mm. And Dad, what's here, on little, top of it? There's that. And which one do you want? Mm, that one. All right, I'm going to take it and I'm going to cut the breast meat off for you. Breast? Well, yeah, just like chicken. It's one. got... A big old piece of meat on it. Oh man, that looks disgusting. Kind of looks like turkey. See? It's a nice old piece. Mm. Mm. Here. This what do you think? You like it? They turned out a little tougher than I meant them to be. On my chicken, I want wadobo. Oh, you want wadobo? Mm. All right. Here. Both you have a piece, and we'll see what you think. Here's a little wadobo there, Sparrow, and here's some more. All right, pass the wadobo, Sparrow. Got a lot of wadobo. <laughs> you did get a lot on that. Mm, mm, I did like mm, two mm. shakes. You did two shakes? Mm -hmm. All right, first time eating pigeon that you know of. It tastes like chicken with the bro dobo on it. Cool. Yummy. Can I have some more, please? You want more? Mm-hmm. Yeah, me, like too, me too, me too, me too. Alright. Yay, All right. pigeon! I will Whoa, okay. I think Sparrow, you've had enough wadobo for the night. Yeah, that's a lot. You have a good shaker, because I'm not a good shaker. You're you're a great shaker, you're just an over shaker. Oh, oh wait, here's something different. All right, a heart. No, I'm not trying a heart. I, I'll eat it. I'm not trying a heart. All right, I can just give you the tiniest piece. Barely any. It's very good. This piece. No, no, you don't want that piece. That's too, that's too Here you go, here. I won't do it without hey. wadobo. Here, I'll put a little wadobo on it. A lot. A lot of wadobo on it. All right. <laughs> yeah. I you know, Thumbs down. Thumbs down for you on the heart? It tastes, it tastes sweet. It tastes, it tastes like... It tastes, tastes like salt. It tastes like... Yeah, because you guys just smothered it in wadobo. I love it. It, it feels like... And it tastes you like, like the heart? It, it, it feels like... And it tastes like cotton candy. <laughs> just a little bit. How... I did not... Only, kind, only a little bit. Only a little bit. Tastes like cotton candy. Only a pinch of cotton candy. Daddy, mm -hmm. um, can people like this video? Can people like this video? Yeah. yeah. Like Give it a thumbs down. up down in the comments. <laughs> thumbs up. Put a thumbs up. All right. I haven't had a chance to even take a bite. Let me see. Okay, that's a lot. That's good. That's yeah. some good pigeon. Yeah, I know. Right? I mean, like with the crust, it really brings out the flavor. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Really does. I, I think they're a touch on the dry side. I went too long. What's that? Is you happy? No, thank you. Eat it. It has a taste. Because I put Podopo inside of it. You did? Mm-hmm. Well, I overcooked the pigeon just the teeniest bit. They still said it tastes good. Hey, if you got any autographs of, about me, then I'll sign them. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's got her own pencil. She's ready to sign autographs. Just in case you guys want one, we could send you a Sparrow autograph, apparently. <laughs> you got an autograph? We gotta, we gotta get you a picture. You gotta have something to autograph. Well, you guys gotta do it. Oh, we gotta do all the work. Because <laughs> I'm not very good at it. That the pigeon stuff? I need the pencil. So all silliness aside, I, I did the pigeon a little too much, and uh, they're pretty gracious to say they really they like it, but if they really, really liked it, they would have kept eating, and, uh, and these things would have been stripped bare right to the bone. But that's okay, because now that they're toasted, I'm gonna make a pigeon soup, and we can eat it 
tomorrow. Pigeon soup. Unless we get lobsters when we go out to check our traps. You better be praying we get some lobsters then if you don't want to try the, the pigeon soup would be good. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Fowler out. A little bit tough. It's really good. I think one of my favorite birds though is actually the guinea hen. Delicious. I let them snack too much.